Hi friends, welcome to B Family Talks. In today's problem, we will go to see the another type of uh, development of surface problem. The question is: Draw the development of lateral development of a triangular pyramid of base edge 30 mm lying with its base on the HP. Its apex is vertically 60 mm above its base, and one of its edges of the base is parallel to the VP. So, you have a problem in the triangular pyramid of the lateral surface of the development. Base edge is 30 mm and axis height is 60 mm. So, conditioning is 1 of the edges of the base is parallel to the VP. Okay? So, now see the solution for the problem. So, coming to the solution. First, we have to draw the front view and top view. So, front view and top view of a triangular pyramid. So, triangular pyramid which is basis resting on the HP means, so the true shape must be visualized in the top view. That is, the true shape of the triangular pyramid is the triangle. Okay. So, you put front view, top view, draw chess at a pudu. Maniki kademan namante. First, front view, top view, draw chess kun at a pudu. First, true shape draw chess. True shape ekadun tundi. The base is resting on the HP and naka, but true shape and edi. Top you look and and triangle true triangular pyramid of true shape and triangle and matter. So, okay, so first you have to construct a triangle with side equal to 30. So, construct an equal triangle with side equal to 30 and name the points as small a, b, c. And uh, this is a pyramid, no? So, that's why we have to mark the apex point O and join all the corners of the a, b, c to the apex point O, and from this. You have to draw the perpendicular lines to the XY reference line and consider the front view. It looks like another e triangle which gives the axis height of 60 mm. So the base name the base points as A dash, B dash, C dash, and apex point is O is projected to the O dash. Okay. After this one, you have to draw the development of the when uh, triangular pyramid. For this, before to this one, we have to draw a line, horizontal line from the point O to some extent and taking O as a center and OC as a radius O as a center and OC as a radius draw an arc which meets the locus of line O okay so which meets the line O and mark this point as so from this point draw a perpendicular line to the reference line XY and name this point as C double dash so you can just some into O in choke horizontal line draw chess kuntamu O in the center ka this koni, O C radius this koni, oka arc draw chest them. So locus of O point the kin. So E point means perpendicular line to the reference line project chest them. And it could intersect in a point in C double dash and term. So next one is join the points O double dash to C double dash, which will give the true inclination of the triangle pyramid. Okay. So this is nothing but the true inclination of the triangular pyramid. So true inclination means slant edge of the pyramid requires a radius of the second step. So radius for the next step. That's, that's why we have to calculate the new sorry um, original true length slant height. Okay. Now mark at any convenient point O at a distance from the front view and with O as a center and O dash C double dash as a radius draw an arc like this. Okay, so O on a point, take a look at mark chess condi, O on a point mark chess in Taravata, O dash, C double dash in radius kathis condi, ok arc even the draw chain. Okay, and after that, mark four points A, B, C, and again A on this arc such that the straight lines of A, B, B, C, and C, A lines are 30 mm in length. So, we have to point to point distance in the petali and 30 mm petali. So, first mark the point A and with the radius of 30 mm mark the point B and with the radius of 30 mm again mark the point C and with the radius of 30 mm again mark the point A. Okay. Now, join all the points from e, O to A, B, C and again A which gives the sides of the triangular pyramid and then join the points A to B b to c and c to a which will give us the development of the triangular pyramid okay in this one th these three triangles must be thick lines and remaining all these arcs must be 
thin lines okay so thank you for watching of this video if you have any doubts in this one please comment in the below section we will solve more number of problems like this so thank you